Let's now find probability when we roll two dice at the same time. So calculate theoretical probability of each event when rolling two dice simultaneously. And we have three problems here to solve. One is probability when sum of the two is seven. The second one is when sum is greater than seven. And the last one is probability of getting a sum less than six, right? So to do these problems, we take help of matrix or a kind of a table. So in this question, we are rolling two dice simultaneously. So let's say this is, well, let's make a table with six rows and six columns. Since there are six outcomes for each dice, right? So let's make six rows. So we have one, two, three, four, five six and then we'll make six columns one two three so rather two this time right three four five six correct so we got six rows and six columns here we'll fill in all the options so let's say dice one we could get number one, two, three, four, five, or six. And with the other dice also, when you roll, you can get numbers like one, two, three, four, five, and six, correct? Now what operation are we doing? We're throwing the two dice there and adding. Some means add them up. So let's try to add them up. If you add these numbers, what do you get? So let's add and fill up this table first. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Now 1 plus 2 is 3. Now 1 plus 3. So we'll add 1 to all these numbers and fill up the first row. So we're getting 4, 5, 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. Now let's add 2 to this. So we get 2 plus 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's add 3 to this series. So it starts with 3 plus 1, 4. And plus 2 is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's continue. 4 plus 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 5 plus 1 is 6. And then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 6 plus 1 is 7. Then we get 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So that is kind of the matrix which you get, right? So when you add the combination of roll from the first die and with the other die then the total is given here right in the center right so for example if you roll from the first as number three and from the second as number four their sum is seven correct that is how we have to see and observe this right now in this particular question we have to find the probability when the sum of five for the sum of well, in this particular thing, the first one is find the probability for the sum of 7, right? So first is how many possible outcomes are there? You have to figure out how many possible outcomes are there. That means we have to answer the question number of all possible outcomes. Because that goes in denominator. It is 6 times 6. If you count these, there will be 36 in all, right? They are 36. So that is in the denominator. So probability which we are trying to figure out for anything will be equal to here possible outcomes, right? Total possible outcomes, right? And in the numerator, we got favorable outcomes right their ratio is going to give us the probability answer that is what we have right sum of seven so we already have a table and you can see where do we get seven so we get sevens here do you see that these are our sevens do you see that how many are these one two three four five six right so that is how many times you get seven in this particular thing so sum of sevens, the probability is equals to 
one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So six times you can get seven in this particular matrix or total possibilities. So the possibility of getting seven is six over 36, which is total number of outcomes. Rather, one out of six times six is 36 can be written as one out of six. So that is the probability of getting sum of seven, correct? Now, what is the probability of getting a sum greater than seven? That is what we have to figure out. So the numbers greater than seven are given here. So they are right here, eight, nine. These are the numbers greater than seven. So let me mark these numbers for you and then we'll count them, right? So the numbers greater than seven are given for us in this list. These are all the numbers which are greater than seven when you add, right? So how many are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we get answer here is 15 out of total of 36, right? 15 out of 36. So that is the probability when sum is going to be greater than seven. I hope you understand that. And the next one is probability when sum is less than six. Now, which are these numbers where the sum is less than six? So that is the numbers here, five and lesser than five. And that is this set of numbers. Do you see that? Let's count how many of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one, 10. So we get this as 10 over 36 which you can simplify dividing both by 2 so 5 over 18 right so that is the probability you can see the maximum probability is amongst these for getting numbers more than 7 right and less than 7 rather less than 6 is 5 out of 8 correct so these are the different pro probabilities when you roll two dice at the same time I hope you understand the concept. The critical issue here is make a matrix or a table of values like this. Imagine the one dice numbers are or the outcomes are written in in one column and the other row has the list of other six outcomes. Add them and fill up your table. Once you do that, you get total number of outcomes. Here the total number of outcomes are 36. Out of them, count the favorable. For each, write down the favorable in the numerator and total in the denominator. The ratio gives you the probability, correct? Now, let me give you a question. So that is, figure out probability for sum less than seven, right? And also check with your answer, if you add this, this, and this, what do you get? and why explain your answer okay so that is the question for you to work on i hope the concept is clear we'll do one more and this time we will check the product when we throw the dice okay thank you